Hey guys, this is a demo of a text editor that I created for the Warcraft 3 map editor. So this is a mod that if you're a map maker, you could copy and paste this code into your map to get this feature. So why I made this text editor is if you hit the enter key, you can type, you know, a random message, but this is a very rudimentary text editor that's built into the Warcraft 3 engine. You can't do anything except type one line of text and you, you can't use arrow keys. It's just going to scroll your map. And so if you make a mistake, you got to hit the backspace to delete before you can start typing again. I mean, it's worse than notepad. You can't do undo. You can't copy and paste nothing. And then obviously once you hit enter, it's going to display on the screen, which you could use a trigger if you wanted to get that data out and not necessarily display it to the user. But for the map that I'm making, I wanted something much more advanced. So let me pull up my text editor so you can see what I'm talking about. So right now it's set up to be full screen, but I have a basic API for my text editor that is documented on my GitHub. So if you use this code, you don't necessarily have to make a full screen. But anyways, if I type something like this is a message, if I want to use arrow keys, I can, and you can see the cursor moves. So I can type in the middle. I don't have to delete everything that I had typed. In addition, I can hit the enter key and I can get a second line of text. And then typical shortcut keys that work in other text editors are going to work here. So if I want to go to the front of the line, I hit home. If I want to go to the end of the line, I hit end. And so if I wanted to tap something in, I could, you know, hit home and then hit tab. And I can move one space at a time of the tab. But if I hit delete at the beginning of the tab, it'll delete the whole thing. Um, I can also hit control Z to undo. And so you'll see a little, like one key at a time, it'll start deleting as I hit control Z. But then if I hit control Y for redo, it will start retyping it all. Uh, okay, so then also if I hold control and hit home, it takes me to the front of the file and control end to the end. So instead of one line at a time, it's the entire text. And if I hit control with arrows, it'll jump a word at a time. So control left, it'll jump a whole word at a time and control right, same thing. And if you hit the backspace, it does one character at a time backwards. But if you hit the delete key, it goes one character forward at a time that's deleting. I'm going to undo that. But if instead I hold the control key when I hit backspace, it'll delete one word at a time. Undo. And then if I did the control delete key, it'll do the same thing, but one word at a time gets deleted in front. If you wanted to move a line of text, you can hit control X for cut. Now you can't select anything. And so it's just going to do the entire line. But since it's now been cut, I could come down here and paste it with control V. And because it's in my clipboard, I can paste it multiple times. However, this does not access the operating system clipboard. So it's just going to be inside of Warcraft that you could copy and paste. And it's only going to be inside of this text editor, unless you as a map maker make that variable available to other parts of the Warcraft engine. And that's due to the limitation of the Warcraft engine itself. It does not give you access to the clipboard as far as I've been able to find out unless someone comes up with a hack. And, and that's a point to bring up as far as mods in general for Warcraft, you have to work within the confines of the engine. So for example, if you notice at the bottom of the screen here, when I hit enter, it will open and close the message for a split second. And that's a hack I had to do because I could not get it to never show up at all. But I did find the workaround, which was just to hide it as soon as it shows up. Um, you can look at the code on my GitHub. I'll put it up here at the top. So if you wanted to like see how I coded this whole thing, or if you want to put it into your own map, um, there's instructions on this GitHub for how to copy and paste the files into your map and also documentation on what APIs it provides. But um, the way I hide that chat menu is I basically click the menu up here and then I instantly cancel it. So you don't actually see the menu pop up, but it does force the chat to hide. Um, so that's just one particular hack. So other hacks I had to do, for example, Warcraft, when you use arrow keys, it's going to scroll. Uh, and if you hit the delete key, it's going to rotate. So those are also hacks I had to do to like ba basically lock the camera bounds and turn on like cinematic camera mode to prevent when you hit delete or when you hit the arrows to prevent the camera from moving around. And then some features I wish I could have done, but I just haven't done yet. And maybe I'll get to eventually is for example, I mentioned that you can cut and paste a line at a time with control X and control V. I'd prefer to be able to hold the shift and use the arrows to actually highlight it or to use the mouse to highlight it. I, that's not something I've coded yet. So that's why it's one line at a time. Um, also, I didn't mention, but you can also do control C. So if you don't want to cut the line, you just want to copy it. So I guess I'll do this line down here, copy it, and then I'll paste it up here. And then I also don't support the caps lock key. So if you want to type in all caps, you have to hold down the shift key while you're typing. If I just hit caps lock and type it without shift, it's going to be lowercase. So that's something that I probably could code. I just didn't bother. 
So feel free to create a pull request if that's important to you. And then one other limitation that I chose not to fix because I don't think it's a huge deal is say you type something like um, an exclamation mark. Because exclamation mark is done by holding shift and pressing the number one, then that is also a hotkey for creating a control group in Warcraft, which is basically highlight a bunch of units and then save those units to that number so that you can reactivate those units in your selection later. Um, so if you're, as you're typing, it's, it thinks that you're using that hotkey to create a control group, even though you're in the text editor. So that's something that probably could be hacked around, but it doesn't really hurt anything. So I just chose to leave it. It is slightly annoying to the user. So if, if it bothers you in your map, feel free to create a pull request to fix it. And then one last feature I didn't show is if you hold the alt key and use the up and down arrows, it will move a line of text at a time. So uh, this is just obviously a much more advanced editor than what's built in. So I'm going to delete all this code. Uh, well, it doesn't look like code. It's just a bunch of text, but I put comments there because in this particular demo, the way I've set this up is it actually will execute the code when you hit escape, which closes the text editor. So for example, this is Lua code. So I said, print the letter A on the screen. So if I hit escape, A shows up on the screen. That is actually the real reason I have created this text editor is because I'm making a map where I want a console or terminal window for my map, similar to like in Minecraft where people can type in their own mods while they're playing the game. And that was the reason I created this text editor. So you could use this text editor for anything you want. It's not designed to run code when you close the text editor. That's not part of this custom control um, on my GitHub. That is a separate piece that's coded just for my map. So it's not too complicated. Essentially, Lua has a load function, which if you pass it any arbitrary text, it will try to execute it as if it's code. So let me show why this would be really cool to have in your map. Blizzard's engine has a built-in function called create unit. And the first parameter is the player that the unit should be created for. The next parameter is a unit type and 4CC stands for four character code. So all of the units in Warcraft have a string identifier that's four characters long. And so HPEA stands for human peasant. And that's just a string variable. But when I pass it to the 4CC function, it converts it to a unit type. And then the next three parameters are the location on the map for it to create it and the direction that it should be rotated. So it's gonna run this actual code. So if I hit escape, I now have a unit created, which I can select, you know, move it around, tell it to attack, you know, any, anything a normal unit could do. So Blizzard has a huge number of APIs that they offer to map makers to do custom mods. And if you wanted to, like in this demo, you could allow your users full access to those APIs so that they could do anything crazy they wanted in your map while it's running. Or you could use it as a map maker for debugging purposes so you could have it only available to you. And instead of doing a lot of setup just to find out you've got a bug in your code and then go kill the game, fix the code, rerun it, and then do all that setup again to get to that exact moment in time, you can instead just modify the code directly in here for testing purposes. And then after it's all working, then you could put it into the real map. So just some ideas where it might be useful. And then one last hack to mention that I had to do, you'll notice as I had the peasant selected, if I mouse over these different commands, I can have them do, they all have hotkeys. So the letter A is gonna do attack. So I could click it, but I could also just press the letter A to do that command. Well. In the text editor, I don't want, as they're typing the letter A, or for example, like if you right click, it'll make the character move. If they right click, I don't want the character to move. The hack I did for that is if you have a unit selected and you open up the text editor, it deselects the unit. So you'll notice a green circle around him is gone. His portrait disappeared, his actions disappeared. So if I press A, which would normally be attack, it's not gonna do it because he's not selected, but it remembers your selection. So as soon as you close the text editor, he gets reselected. So again, that's a hack just to make you aware, but I don't think it's gonna affect your gameplay and your map, so it shouldn't be an issue. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this control comes in useful to you if you're a map maker and uh, please provide feedback. If you notice any bugs, submit issues on my GitHub, or if you have questions about how to make your own Warcraft maps or controls, 
send a message on my YouTube and I hope this mod is helpful for you. Thanks.